And talk about putting stuff off to the last minute. It's only one week, seven days from today that we've got to leave for power tour. And we're just now about to start the charger for the first time. The transmission is in, the drag shaft is in, all the fluids are in. Uh, before, I figured, well, you guys might enjoy, they still have the exhaust system off the car. So I figured you guys might enjoy a, uh, an open-headed cold start with the 440. But I'll give you a quick run around, show you what we're doing. Body man Ron has been here the last couple of nights, and uh, he's making some progress. He's going around the car now, finding little dings and whatnot. Here's uh, here's what the quarter looks like. I got to tell you, he's done a spectacular job. It just needs a little more finessing on the bottom here, and that's it. She's done. Ron, awesome work, brother, man. Thank you so much. And this thing's going to look snazzy. So let me show you the paint I took up for it. This is, um, I'm going to light's terrible. Okay. So I've used this in the past. Not this color, but this brand. This is um, Restoration Shop. What we went with here is uh, Hot Rod Flats urethane boulevard black it's got just it's got just a little bit of a you know just a tiny bit of a sheen to it so i think the cars are going to look good in that um this stuff here so it's 275 bucks and it comes with the hardener they send you filters they send you some stir sticks that's not a bad deal that's not a bad deal uh just got to pick up the primer for it now Right? A week to go. And we still haven't even painted this thing yet. It hasn't been on the ground yet. But like I said, the transmission and everything is in it. We're going to give it a first start right now. Uh, under the hood. So, let's see. I had to do some belt alignment. The uh, the alternator wasn't quite wasn't quite setting right. I don't have the right brackets on here for a non for a non AC application. And the reason for that is because I will be putting a factory AC setup on here. As soon as I find a good compressor on the rest of the lines and everything that go underneath. So, anyway, it, right now it's just set up just to make the run, and then we'll uh, we'll swap everything around once once we're back. I know should have the AC beforehand. I know I get it, but I don't. So that's that. Um, ch other changes I made to this thing. Um, I had a mechanical advanced dual point distributor in here. And he says, though, this is for a highway trip now, right? We're gonna, we're gonna cover cover a couple thousand highway miles. So I need a vacuum advance. So my friend Andy with the Hemi GTX that we did last year, uh, he had left this Hemi distributor, it's not a Hemi distributor, it's just a generic 440 distributor that had a brand new Petronix in it. And he says, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm always, I'm always like being skeptical and talking bad stuff about aftermarket components i'm gonna keep the Petronix set up in here i just wired it up a few minutes ago um i'm gonna keep this Petronix set up in here and see what it's gonna do so uh, I'm, I'm carrying obviously i'm gonna carry carry a spare distributor with points and condenser just in case but you know let's give it a shot let's see what it does carburetor so we, we talk about a lot, a lot about hollies but if you want absolute bulletproof, like there's no question that you're going to get where you're going to go, Edelbrock is the way to go. This is an 800 CFM Edelbrock. Uh, the nice thing about these is that you can make minor tuning changes as you go along. Uh, I, I don't know how familiar some of you guys are with these carburetors. But under these covers right here are the drop rods, and you can make... I mean, literally, you can make tuning changes. If you pull it to the gas station, you stick the hose in to fill the tank. You put it on kind of slow, and while you're doing that, you've got enough time to actually make a tuning change on this before it fills up the tank. These things are fantastic. There's no O-rings to leak. Nothing. I mean, they're, they're, they're bulletproof. They're bulletproof. They don't give it a performance of a Holly. That's why it, all, of our, all of our faster cars have Hollies on them. But when you're talking about, like, 
dead nuts street reliability the carter slash edelbrock carburetor cannot be beat so that's what we got that on there um other than that it's it's uh it's ready to light i think so let me uh okay fill up the transmission fluid it's got antifreeze in it uh give this carburetor a prime I already filled the bowls. I filled the bowls before, so this thing should light off. Should, should light off and run okay. All right. I, I just dropped the distributor in. I kind of spitballed where it should be. Let's hope for the best. All right. Okay, that's not, that wasn't bad. Let's fire it up again.
so that's always a good sign. I gotta show you guys something in a second. Let me shut this thing off. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's good. Uh, if you're ever going to run a car, <laughs> how many times I've done this, right? Because you just don't think. If you're ever going to run a car with the wheels off, make sure you stick at least one lug nut because these things will absolutely take off. Put one lug nut on there, you know, just to keep the drum in place. Yeah, the fronts are all back together again. I still have to, I, mean, I got to adjust the torsion bars when I put it on the ground. But, um, yeah, wow. Okay, I'm happy with that. That went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to. Uh, so that's it. Let me clean up this mess. Check the, uh, check the transmission fluid. Look for any leaks or anything like that. And uh, with any luck, next day or two, I'll have it on the ground. We'll take it for a blast around the area before we spray it. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you tomorrow.